This is crazy. In Jesus' name. Oh, there's your friend. In Jesus' name. Against this evil, break in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Can't hear you. A little louder. It's unconstitutional what you're doing. You're breaking the, your oath to the Constitution. You gave an oath to the state. I'm speaking for the Lord. I can't help myself. If you want the Lord, just I know I can leave. But the Lord has put on my heart. I need to say something. It's wrong for you to limit the public speaker. Will you? Don't leave. Don't leave. Do not leave. This is my right, and I'm grieving. Ma'am, are you allowing public speaking, sir? No, we're not. Well, well, how, how is the public going to know about this? It's not on the agenda. You're not telling the That's public what fair, the sir. truth is. You know, most people in McMinnville don't even know about this. Just, just stay right here. You didn't do anything illegal. Just stay right here. Stay. Don't say anything. The property owners, it does. Don't say anything else. Don't say anything else. Can't arrest all of us. <laughs> There's some um, property owners, non resident property owners here, if you want to ask them. They came to be heard. Just gonna stand here. So this meeting is gonna proceed without interruption. If anybody speaks again, you're gonna be escorted out by the police. And if you refuse, that's on you. So do I have a motion? A motion by Mr. Everett Second.
It's just the mechanism by which the votes are collected is different. Rather than having uh, rather than having a property rights voter go to a precinct, and because we have McMinnville, Viola, Morrison, and what's uh, in Centertown, so there are four there are four municipalities within uh, within Warren County, and each one of them has a board, and each one of them likely has property owners that don't reside within that community but own property, mm -hmm. and whether I believe they should have a right to vote or not is not up to me. That was already decided. I personally disagree with, but I wasn't here, so I can't change that. But I really, uh, I understand how hypersensitive anybody in the public, myself included, about changing any way we collect votes or count votes. But I don't believe that this, uh, believe me, I would be against it completely if it smelled anything like what we're all concerned about, and all the, the majority of us in this country are concerned about. I really don't, I don't think this is it. In, in the city of McMillan, there's 174. You know, mm -mm. They can. To the, according to according to this document, you can vote twice. Well, on your deed. And we have 174. They're collected by absentee ballot. They'll be easy to audit, easy to check. Mm -hmm. So I, I really don't. I we don't see how this. They is, do not want it. There's property. This, an issue. We can't make comment. I'm just letting y'all know mm -hmm. that that this is my opinion, and I dove into it. Uh, immediately with uh, Mr. Purtle after the initial meeting when Ms. Davenport presented it. Mm -hmm. And I, again, I understand how hypersensitive this issue is, but I do not believe this is, I do not believe this is going to lead to more of that. And that's, that's my opinion. And I just wanted to get that out for what it's worth to let y'all know that if anybody was looking after it, it was going to be me. Okay. I know. And I promise you, this is not that. And if something happens and it is, we can repeal it. You know, it can only happen once. And if we get enough support, we yeah, can repeal it because it's not permanent. It if we see friends. something funny, which I do not think would happen, mm -hmm. we do have the right to, to repeal that measure. And I just wanted to make sure to put y'all at as much at ease as I possibly can because, again, I'm just one person. But I am mm -hmm. going to support this measure simply because the research that I've done on it and the information that I have, I don't believe that is. Uh, we probably should have had this type of outrage in 2014, but unfortunately we didn't. <laughs> So here we are today.
and that that alderman older man board put that into place that, that those those property owners get to have the vote it was an equal vote and i feel like it's it's if we're gonna have property owners voting they should have an equal opportunity yes Gotta go. 